Michelson-Morley experiment consisted of a light source pointed at a half-silvered mirror. This beam splitter sent light off in two directions. These separate light beams were sent to two mirrors that reflected the light back at the half-silvered mirror. Half of the light was able to pass through this mirror and half was reflected at 45 degrees. After hitting this half-silvered mirror for a second time, the light was recombined and sent in the direction of an observer. In the 19th century, physicists didn't think waves could propagate through a vacuum. They theorized that there must be a medium throughout all space that allows light waves to propagate through it. This hypothetical substance was called luminiferous ether. If this proposed ether existed, as the Earth orbited the Sun, we would travel through it, creating a velocity that would alter the speed of light, just as sound waves differ when a car is heading toward you and then away from you. Given the length between the half-silvered mirror and the other two mirrors, the time required by light to pass this distance can be calculated. The first time is affected only by adding and subtracting the velocity of the Earth. For the second time, because the distance to the other mirror is perpendicular to the velocity, the light would hypothetically be traveling a greater distance as defined by this triangle, to return to the half-silvered mirror. Completing these calculations and then rotating the experiment, or waiting six months for the velocity of the Earth to be in the opposite direction, these calculations can be done again. Subtracting delta t from delta t prime and dividing by the period of light waves, a value can be found that describes the magnitude shift of the interference pattern that should be observed if we really are traveling through this luminiferous ether. When this experiment was performed, there were no interference patterns observed in any orientation, thus disproving the existence of ether. This discovery was so revolutionary because without a required medium to travel through, light waves travel with respect to nothing. If you were to travel at 90% of the speed of light, light would still travel at the speed of light away from you as well as to a stationary observer. This differs when compared to throwing a ball in a moving vehicle. To you, in the car, the ball travels at the speed you threw it, but to a stationary observer out of the car looking in the window, the ball travels at the speed you threw it plus the speed of the moving car. This is the basis for special relativity.